How's it going gamer? You got hands here and today we're gonna go over some tips and tricks and need to knows before you get started in playing the new game that came out Wolfenstein Youngblood. It's a pretty dope remake of the old school classic so let's get started. So during your battle gamer look out for the commandant because if he's present when the alarm is triggered enemy reinforcements will be at a higher level so once you take him out they'll start coming at a lower level until you take everybody out. It's pretty important because there's some high level guys that'll just keep showing up if you don't kill them. So this is what he looks like. I suggest before getting into an encounter and making the alarm go off, scan the area, possibly go in cloak and look for him and kill him first if you can. If not, like I said, it'll be a pretty tough battle. But he's pretty easy to kill, he doesn't have a shield. Next, the enemies here, they're all rated by Roman numerals as you can see in the top next to their names. The higher the number, the harder and the more armor they have. And especially if they have a skull, then most likely they're going to kick your butt, so watch out. Right here they have soft weapons and hard weapons in this game. I don't know why they call it that. But those make a big difference in taking down the enemy shields before you can actually take down their health bar. Very important during uh, boss fights as well, gamer. Just to show you a quick example in case you're not noticing it. It's down there at the bottom of each weapon. You can also see this in the character menu weapon screen. It'll show the soft and the hard markers for each one. As far as I know in the beginning... The one on the far right is a hard, and then the pistol is a hard as well. The other ones are all soft, so you have more soft hitters than hard hitters. Here's an example of the basic pistol taking down a pretty heavy dude shield because it's the right ammo, hard ammo. And then I switched the machine gun pistol to finish him off. So the weapon mods in Wolfenstein are brought down to three different categories, natal, tempo, and steer. If you apply these upgrades in the Pacific brand, you will achieve a brand's bonus, which means you do three natals and you will get a bonus headshot damage if you do three tempo mods on the weapon you get fire rate damage or a better fire rate and steer which I'm doing right here you get improved raw damage so at the end of this I get plus 10 percent damage and then that increases with my uh, character level as well also gamer there's five mods on a weapon and you can only get one bonus per gun so that leaves you with two extra perks two extra mods which you can curate the gun to your liking, to your play style. So choose those exactly how you want to play or what you think would be more beneficial for you at the time. So in Wolfenstein, your form of self-healing or self-protection is a pep signal that you and your sister or co-op player throw off and it has a certain radius and a certain effect each time. So it's easy to forget about because in the heat of battle, it's over there real tiny and small on the right side of the screen, but push up directional pad to use it. So make sure you're in the radius of your sister so she gets the effect as well. It's very important. And what I want to show you here, I know this is all obvious, but I was spending all my money on weapons, and here there are so many other peps. Armor giving peps, health giving peps, armor and health giving peps, invulnerable peps, uh, the revive from far distance, you and your sister deal more damage. There's just so many awesome ones. And in the beginning of the game, I spent all my cash or in-game money on my weapons. So throughout the game, there's these metro maps that you find in subway tunnels. Make sure you collect them all so you can get all the locations on your map. At first, it gets a little overwhelming and confusing because you accept all these quests from all the NPCs and you kind of lose track on which one you were on first. So make sure you mark your mission that you were on so you can see it on the top left screen so you have a better direction on where you should be going. Here's a mini map for the catacombs, your base of operations in Wolfenstein when you're not in combat. Remember, you can hold square while in combat to send a request to your sister so y'all could travel back because there's a lot of useful stuff here. And there's some really cool scenery too. Some dope 80s music and even arcades. It's a pretty awesome place. I love it. One of the many things you can find in the catacombs is health, armor, shared lives, which are all very important before getting into a mission. You want to make sure you fill up all of that stuff before starting a new mission. That's super, super important. And you can see the little signs direct you. There's even ammo, grenades. If you follow the signs throughout the whole catacombs, they'll direct you to every single thing you need. And you can totally outfit yourself and get definitely ready for the battle. It's so awesome. What's even way cooler is you get to play the old version, the old super awesome classic version. I remember this in my childhood of Wolfenstein. It is so crazy. I just ran in there tapping and tapping. I didn't even get very far. I think I got to the second level. But it's okay. It's super fun and you definitely should try it out. 
Another important thing is tagging your enemies. I tend to forget about it too, but especially if you're playing solo and the game is your sister, it's an AI sister and not another co-op player, it's very important to tag your enemies so the game knows who's important on who you should take down first. It's pretty simple. You just look at him and tap L1, but it's extremely useful in the heat of the moment situations when you're killing these guys but your sister's way over there. This is an interesting in-game mechanic. You and your sister have shared lives. The lives are represented by the heart icons next to your sister's portrait. And remember, if your sister bleeds out and you can't get her, that uses one of the hearts. And you only have three. Now if you both bleed out and you can't get each other, you have to start all over in the beginning of the map. Here I am, I couldn't even reach her, I used the last of my heart, and then I'm running, and then I died. She couldn't reach me. We had to start all over, and this was on the raid boss. This was the first time I really died a whole lot. So remember, that's important. Don't forget about all that stuff. So I know character building is pretty self-explanatory, and we're all gamers, and this is our bread and butter. It's our favorite part of video gaming. But I found it very helpful to make a neutral build and unlock the first squares of mind, power, and muscle. Because there's a lot of cool ones down at the bottom if you just save for them, which are pretty important, like the strafe. You can't strafe or move much at all until you unlock that, and there it is right there, the slide dasher. It's much more cooler name. The armor and the health obviously are super important because you're just like in your face shooter. And dual wielder is epic. Save up for that guys. It is so awesome. You can dual wield both of the pistols. The machine gun pistol and the regular pistol. And you can even do one of each to make this pretty awesome epic build. I'm saving up for this one. But this one allows you to wield the enemy's epically huge heavy weapons. Which I'm so excited for. It's so awesome. I would suggest investing in cloak because as far as you can do is just stay invisible for a few seconds and you can't even hold a gun. But I'm not much of a cloaker. I'm a Leroy Jenkins in your face. So those were just a few tips and tricks and guidelines that I wanted to share with you in case you're just hopping in the game or you're already in the game and you're a little confused. Because I know I was definitely excited and I just jumped in and I wish I knew these things before I started. But hey, you, everybody learns from somewhere, right? I hope this video was helpful for you and you're having as fun in this game as I am. Please don't hesitate to subscribe and like, it'll definitely help me out. This is Hands signing out.